Welcome back to the channel YouTube. My name is Justin. I represent Maryland's number one RV dealership, Beckley's RVs. And today, we're gonna to take you on a quick tour of the 2021 New Camp Tag Six Wide Boondock Edition. In front of the Tag 6 wide, you're gonna see a bunch of stuff. We're gonna start out with what's inside of this diamond plated, uh, you know, kind of storage box here. So you're gonna have a 20 pound propane bottle. You're also gonna have a 12 volt deep cycle battery. Uh, for that battery, they provide you a disconnect. So when this thing's sitting in storage, instead of you having to disconnect the terminals to the battery to prevent that battery charge from, uh, you know, dissipating, instead you just go ahead, turn a switch, and that'll disconnect everything on the inside of the coach uh, that's 12 volt related. Now the next thing is this large aluminum storage rack. So uh, you could use it as storage. I like to be able to sit down, maybe throw some shoes or boots on. Uh, really whatever you want to utilize this space for. Just gives you a little bit more flexibility. The other thing is up front, you could also utilize this as a storage space, perhaps for a small size generator. So that way for you folks that plan to take this thing off, you know, boondocking or off the grid, you got just one more storage space to be able to stow that out of the way and not on the inside of the vehicle. So definitely a great spot that's right there. So if you wanna follow me around the corner here. So you're gonna have two access doors to be able to get on the inside uh, of your tag. We're gonna show you what's inside here shortly, but first we're gonna start with the outside. While we're right here, just wanna show you, they've got a uh, little kind of cute window that's here. This thing just closes off just like a so. They also give you a little cargo netting here. That way you can utilize that as some, st uh, as some storage. Now you'll see down below, you have a large Nerf bar. That Nerf bar extends all the way back here to the corner behind that fender flare. Uh, that uh, Nerf bar is gonna be, do a couple things. Number one, it's gonna uh, give you a little bit easier access to climb in and out of the trailer. But then the second thing is up top. You've got a Yakima roof rack along with a solar panel that's up there. So if you wanna take anything you know, off of your Yakima roof rack, you can climb right up top here and it gives you the ability to much easier uh, you know, access this stuff. As far as the solar goes, let's just say you need to clean it off or just make sure everything's uh, you know, in check up top there, you can climb up top here on the back one and be able to check that solar panel out as well. Now, uh, for some of you that are technical and want to know about a spare tire, well, your spare tire is underneath, directly underneath the uh, middle of the trailer. So this guy right here, it's going to give you, uh, they're going to provide you a crank handle so you can insert that crank handle right here and actually raise or lower the spare tire. Something to note is it's not a full size, beefy looking wheel and tire like this. It's going to be still the same size as this, just not that fancy, uh, you know, tread pattern. That'll be able to give you the ability to uh, get to your next destination nice and safely until you can get that beefy wheel and tire back. Now, uh, up and above, they give you some dual pane windows. So we're gonna discuss it once we get inside there, but these have some really cool functions to them. They open up almost like an awning style. Uh, they're dual pane, so they're a little bit quieter. They have less condensation. Just a ton of great stuff with these windows. If you couldn't tell, I geek out over them just because they are so, so unique. Um, fancy little diamond. Uh, plating up and around those uh, you know, fenders, again, just kind of adds a cool little cool factor, just gives it a unique look. Um, when you come to the campground, it's really, really important to get this thing stabilized out. You know, when you're inside moving in and out, you don't want this thing moving around. So they provide you two stabilizing jacks. So you've got a stabilizing jack that's here in the back right. You've also got another stabilizing jack on the opposing side. And that's a key component. They're just stabilizers. You do not want to level the coach out with those. All right, so entering to the rear of the trailer, this is the coolest part of the whole thing in my opinion. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. Got an outside kitchen area. I mean, let's be honest, you're camping. So you're gonna be outside most of the time. You're not gonna be inside hanging out. So this is such a cool and unique feature. A um, Couple of things just to point out. Right off the bat, you got a two burner, propane driven uh, cooktop. From there, you've got a sink. You've also got a 110 volt microwave. And then what's not pictured here, but would come with it, is gonna be a Yeti cooler that'll stow nicely right in place there. You got some outside speakers. There's a radio on the inside of the trailer, so you'll be able to hook up via Bluetooth, uh, listen to your favorite tunes while you're hanging out outside here. They give you some uh, 110 volt outlets. You got a little charging station to be able to charge your cell phones. And uh, otherwise, if you look underneath to here, a little bit of storage. 
This has a fresh water tank on board. So if you're gonna be going someplace that does not have water, people always ask, where's my fresh water tank? Well, it's located right inside of there. Um, it's probably in the neighborhood of around maybe three to five gallons at most. So it's not a significant amount of water, but hey, at least you have that flexibility. Otherwise, in order for us to be able to use that water out of that fresh water tank, over here they provide you a water pump switch. So you can turn on that water pump, that'll pump the water from the tank right here to this little outside uh, sink area. And then there's an outside shower on the corner that you could uh, you know, pump water out of as well. You got some cool accent lights that are very difficult here to see. The switches for it, they're just up and underneath. And then also you get a little 12 volt LED light for nighttime. So we're gonna move on to the other side. All right, so over here on the driver's side of the tag, you got a bunch of hookups. So you got your city water connection. So if the campground uh, has water, you can plug right into there. If you want to fill up that fresh water tank I had showed to you, you're gonna fill it up right there. If the campground offers 110 volt electricity, this thing comes with a power cord. So you plug it in right here and then plug right into the campsite. And believe it or not, this thing has a TV option. It's got a cable inlet outside here. So if the campground, once again, offers cable, you can plug in right there and watch cable TV. And then down below here, they give you an outside spray port. So this outside shower would quick connect right to here. And you could use this to maybe spray off your feet after coming back from a sandy day at the beach. Whatever really uh, you, know, you want to utilize this for. It just gives you one more piece of flexibility. Go ahead and store this thing back away. One thing I did not show you guys, and that's on the back of the trailer, was a propane quick connect for an outside gas grill. So if you wanted to bring your own low pressure grill, there's a quick connection right down and below the trailer here. So you just plug right into there, that feeds off that front 20 pound propane bottle, and uh, that way you can do some cooking right outside. All right, so we're getting ready to pop on the inside of here, but before we do so, you gotta see the extra storage that this thing offers. So um, you've almost got a king size mattress on the inside of this, but what you don't see underneath that mattress is some storage. So this little panel here lifts up, and you got storage that goes all the way back and underneath. So that way you could utilize the car you know, as some storage space, and you could also utilize this as some storage space. Go ahead and close that up. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pop inside. All right, so now we're on the inside of the tag six wide. As you guys can see, this is just space to be able to sit up inside of, but you really have a ton of cool features that are inside of here to make you the most comfortable when you're out enjoying a nice camping trip. So uh, first thing is just starting the front of the trailer. This is gonna be like your headboard area. So uh, you got some storage that's right back behind here. Super cool, you got a little cup holder and close that off. Then you give you some interior speakers. And then what you don't see is back behind here, you have a charging station. So over there on the left, that's gonna be a 12 volt charging station versus over here, these are gonna be 110 volt outlets. Uh, they even give you some little reading lamps. So click once for blue, click and hold down for white. And then up and above, you got some additional storage as well. Um, something that I love really most about this trailer is all the window space on the inside because to me I'm a little bit claustrophobic so if there weren't all the windows in here I feel like it would feel very tight but this thing has massive windows so you've got this large stargazing window right up front here which you could open up you know at nighttime they even give you day and nighttime shade so if you see here you got uh, nighttime versus you could use daytime screens and then notice here, right back behind me, I do have one, uh, one window already opened up just to show you all how that works. So right now with that thing propped open, we'll just go ahead and close that off. Keep it bug tight. Now, uh, you may hear something that's running in the background. That's the fantastic fan that's up and above my head here. So uh, the fantastic fan is a two-way ventilation fan. It can either suck air out or it could bring air in. What's really important is if you're sucking air out, it will burn up the fan if you do not have some sort of window open inside of here. So I got a window cracked. You can't feel it because obviously you're on video, but I can feel how much air is being sucked through that window and up and through the fan. So they do a great job. And the best thing about it is the fact that it operates off of the battery. So you can be out in the middle of nowhere and still have some good cross ventilation rolling through. Now, over here on the back part of the uh, you know area here, you're gonna see a ton of cool amenities. So, First thing, right in front of your face, you've got an air conditioning unit. It's just like an air conditioning unit, more or less from like Home Depot or Lowe's. So in the event that this thing breaks, it's super inexpensive to go out and get another one. Uh, over here to the left, they provide you a ceramic heater. So uh, in predecessing models, 
uh, you did not have any sort of form of heat inside of here. Now with this, you've got a heater. And then over here is that radio we were talking about. Again, you can control zone A being inside and then zone B being the outside speakers. And up and above, this gives you some additional storage here. And then right here, you can open this up and that's just gonna be a couple of outlets uh, for the um, back of your air conditioning. But what I was mentioning earlier is you have a TV prep. So if you were to install a TV, it would just go right directly above the air conditioner right here. And then over there in the corner, you're gonna have some more storage. Down below to the right, that's going to be a uh, converter or fuse and breaker panel. You got another 110 volt outlet and uh, that's about it. So I hope you all enjoyed this tour. Again, my first name is Justin. I represent Beckley's RVs, Maryland's number one RV dealership. If you'd like some additional information on this model or anything else that we stock here, please reach out to me using the information down below. Stay tuned for the next one. Thank you.